Hey, hey, y'all, Jeremy James here, the Bourbon Realtor, coming to you from Bar Stools and Bourbon. And as a U.S. Army veteran myself, I am pleased to be able to bring to you today, Horse Soldier. y'all this is a new brand on the scene some of you may have been curious about it may have been seeing it out and about they've got a couple different lines so far i believe they're distilling in columbus ohio and i believe they also have another spot down in florida um, but they have broken ground on their new distillery in somerset kentucky so we are super excited to be able to have horse soldier in kentucky where they began where they belong so for those of you who may not know the story about horse soldier if you've seen the Chris Hemsworth movie, 12 Strong, then you understand a little bit of what's going on behind um, the, the story of Horse Soldier. So Horse Soldier Bourbon was founded by some of the original members of the Green Beret group that was the first ones to go into Afghanistan after 9-11. They were originally training on the Cumberland River, which is down in the Somerset area um, during the events of 9-11 in 2001. Um, you can follow their exploits, or at least some of their exploits, in the movie 12 Strong. Since then, they have come together and founded Horse Soldier Bourbon. Now, this is a weeded style bourbon. So those of you who like the wheat profile, which is more caramel forward, less of those um, herbal notes and some of that less spiciness, but more of a butterscotch type of mouthfeel and so forth, uh, you may well want to check these out. They've got a couple different levels um, starting, I believe, about the 90. This is the barrel strength that we're going to be looking at today. This one here is actually coming in at 122 proof. Uh, so we'll get, let's go ahead and get this poured out. No cork pop because as you can see, I've already dipped into it. I lied. It's a nice cork pop. So this one's been a minute since I've actually uh, sipped on it. So it's had plenty of time to kind of open up, if you will. I'm not going to get into the whole debate on neck pours and all that. I don't believe that there is some bourbon or whiskey up in the neck that goes bad or something like that. Because um, a simple one of those dispels that myth all the way around. But um, there is something to be said for allowing whiskey and bourbon to get some air into it. Um, and, and we see those adjustments and those changes in whiskeys and bourbons all the time. And I'll let you all fight about that in the comment section. So appearance wise, color is nice and dark. Um, not super dark like a, like a finished whiskey or something like that or a doubled oak, but this is a nice dark whiskey. I love the color on it. It's more than just your, your standard um, kind of like amber and beer color or whatever. Um, but at 122 proof, it's, uh, well, it's barrel strength. So we're gonna expect a little bit more concentration of those colors. So it's coating the glass, coating the glass, coating the glass really evenly. Nice swirls around the glass. Nice legs telling me mouthfeel and viscosity are gonna be right where I want them to be. What's going on the nose? So alcohol is a little bit present on the nose, but at 120 proof, to, huh? <laughs> this is my first drink. I mean, seriously, I'm not this bad. At 122 proof, it's not impossible to get away from. So let's see. All right, getting through a little bit of that alcohol, and it's still not strong enough to push me off it, so. A little bit of grain notes um, coming forward, that corn. Um, not getting so much wheat, but more of the corn grain notes. <sighs> There's some, um, some nice caramels. I'm not picking up any really distinctive overall note on the nose yet. <sighs> I am getting some citrus, um, almost like orange peel. Just a little bit of spiciness, uh, maybe a little bit of like uh, light pepper or something along those lines. Overall, smells really nice. Nothing's gonna push you off of this thing. You're gonna be dipping back in your nose with this all the time. All right, let's have it, let's go.
So right away, there is a, the, the alcohol heat hits your tongue. Anyone looking for a particularly smooth bourbon, you're probably not gonna find a friend in this, but then at 122 proof, why are you shopping this high for smooth bourbon? Um, we know what we're getting into with barrel proofs. So right away, um, uh, the first thing I noticed was it just did have that nice alcohol, uh, the higher alcohol, the higher octane, peppery feel on the mouth. Um, some of those sweeter notes were coming through, but again, that's an acclimation sip. So we're not gonna talk about uh, much about profile or anything like that yet. So let's dive into number two. That's much better. The, the caramels and those oaks, it's big in oakiness on the backside. Just kind of rebreathing that air and you can taste that, that oakiness. Um, got some nice caramel and, and those toffee notes up front. This is a big, robust whiskey. You're not going to find the levels of complexity, like super dense um, flavors and all that kind of stuff. But this is this is a big, powerful whiskey, and suits the namesake Horse Soldier truly. The oakiness and caramels are starting to really come through on the nose now. The breadiness is, um, and that graininess is starting to take a little bit of a back seat. And that pepperiness, just getting a lot of those, that pepper in the mouth. The, the mid to back palate has a lot of pepper and just kind of hanging out and like that black pepper, just kind of that stingy kind of bite, but then you have some leathers in there too. This is a nice, complex, bold bourbon that I think any person that has been around bourbon for more than a minute is going to enjoy. It's got some bite to it, it's got some sting, lets you know what you're drinking. You're not drinking 90 proof, you're not drinking 80 proof. I don't get much of a Kentucky hug, but it just hangs in the mouth. Um, and it's not sharp, it's not accurate or anything like that. It's just got a nice kind of, what a kind of spiky, I call it a kind of spikiness. Um, Some more of those grains coming forward now. I like it. This is a grain caramel bomb um, just wrapped in oak. Absolutely. Viscosity, probably a medium viscosity, leaves your mouth a little bit dry on the backside. And you just get to rebreathe all those flavors and everything else. This is really, this is really nice. For a, a strong, big, bold weeder, this is where it's at right here, y'all. You're not gonna mistake this for a Weller Antique or anything like that, because this is just next level. 122 proof, this is a mouth punch. So, some of the other ones you can look at, this is actually the 13 year. It's actually autographed by a couple of, um, of the members from that original Horse Soldier group. And for those of you who may not be familiar, the, the die for the stamping on this label was actually made, originally cast from metal that was from Ground Zero in, uh, in New York City. So that's a pretty cool feature right there too. So we've tasted the barrel strength. We're gonna, now I wanna dip into this, um, this 13 year. I wanna, I wanna try this. I think I've only had just a little sip out of this. This one is coming in at 104.1 proof. 
It is a liquor barn pick, and it's um, single barrel number 112. Did you notice I closed my eye to read that? Oh my gosh, I'm 47 years old, and I'm closing my eye to refocus. It's so bad. Don't get old, kids. Don't do it. It's overrated. Beautiful cork pop on that one. This, again, is a 13-year-old whiskey coming in at 104 proof. So hopefully I didn't ruin my palate by, by starting with 122 proof. Color on this one, about the same as the other, but it's nice and dark. Coats the glass really well. Where the first one was a lot of grains, this one is much more oak forward and really no alcohol at all on the nose. I'm not getting any of that alcohol push like I saw on the first one. That's just nice and oakiness. If you like an oaky weeder, 13 year. And I think it was 150 bones, I believe, um, on that one. So not too bad if you're looking to scale up, looking for a nice anniversary gift, something like that. Not for your child's 13th birthday party, I wouldn't recommend. Mm. Oh my gosh. Right away, the complexity is much more noticeable here. I think it's because we've got a little bit proof down. We're at 104 proof. It's a little bit more approachable. I don't have near the sting that I was getting with the 122. The oakiness is super prevalent. At 13 years, we're, we're getting to the end of that classic six to eight year range for whiskeys or for bourbons and barrel. But nice big oakiness. It's not overly sweet, but it is robust. I'm getting a lot more leathers on this, a lot more of those really kind of robust, strong barrel notes. This reminds me a lot of a Knob Creek 12. Um, not the, the, the necessarily the the um, the toffiness, but as far as that oakiness is concerned, really nice. I like that proof at 104. That's right in my wheelhouse. It's a good balance of all sides. You've got the age with this one. You've got that that weeder style. So it comes in. It's already coming in a little bit sweeter um, than most. The nose was nice and oaky and, and, and kind of butterscotchy. It hits initially with some sweetness and then moves really into more of those oak notes. And then um, towards the back palate, you start getting some more of those tobaccos and that leather is really coming out. This is nice. This is actually evolving as I'm drinking it. It's really, really nice. I can smell some of those leather notes on the nose, like old school leather, like an old wallet. Not musty or anything like that, but just not like a fresh catcher's mitt, you know what I mean? Mm. All right. So now we come down to a by bar pass, right? So on the first one, we've got horse soldier, barrel strength. I think this is 80 to $90, depending. Your mileage obviously will, will vary. At 122 proof, I love the story. I love the fact that it's a weeder. I love everything going along with this bourbon. I'm a weeder guy anyways. I tend that way um, myself. I like some rise, but I, if, if I'm drawing back, if I'm going to draw back and punt, I'm probably going to pull something on that, that weeder side, the, the caramels and everything else. So I really like this 122. Maybe next time I'll drop some water in it and just to see if lightening that proof allows it to be a little bit more approachable because tonight for me, it was a little bit on that spiky side. And I really want to be able to taste through it um, and see if that lower proof point uh, makes the difference. So at $80 to $90, this one is definitely a buy. For me, 
I love the story. I love the story of Horse Soldier. I love everything that they're doing. Um, so for me, the 13 year was a no brainer. I think, like I said, a buck 75 or buck 50 or something like that. It is 13 years old, so it has age on it. If you're looking for something with more of those more mature notes that isn't just the run of the mill um, whiskey that everybody has on their shelf, then this is definitely a buy here too. And that they're doing a lot of uh, signings around. Get your stuff signed, y'all. Check it out. Awesome stuff to have on your shelf. Great story. So for me, it's buy, it's buy. Um, so yeah, so I guess this is Horse Soldier Bourbon, barrel strength and 13 year. Like I said, there are, I think there are two other varieties out there, uh, lower proof points, different colored labels and stuff on them, but same great weedy bourbon. Gonna love seeing them down in Somerset with their new distillery and hopefully we'll be able to get down there and talk to the guys and um, see a little bit more about their thoughts on this wonderful bourbon. So, y'all, I'm Jeremy James, the Bourbon Realtor. This is Horse Soldier Bourbon. See you all next time.